everybody's teamed up with a partner in our Zoom classes. Together, they choose a scene that they'd like to work on. Uh, we've been working on it for four weeks and just really looking deeply at the scene, figuring out who your character truly is so that we can get a more complex portrayal of that person. So we can find layers to put on layers of your character uh, to really understand their perspective and their point of view and, and be able to think as their character, move as their character. Um, so I, what I'd like to do before we begin, because I always like to have everybody introduce themselves, where they are on their journey. And I want you to share a concept that you learned since you've been studying in this class, some of you have been here for a long time, some for just a short period of time. Uh, a concept that you have learned in this class that seems the most important to you in your work. What, which thing that you've learned? And when I say learned, because you know you could read all the um, the the written lessons, and you know everybody shares on the uh, what did you learn this week post, and they can say I learned this. But what I want to talk about, because when then then I'll, as people go along, they say, I relearned this. And I think that has to do with being able to actually implement it, to truly understand it, to, um, to get a grasp of how to use it in your work. And so I would love to hear from everybody here, which concept that you've learned about acting, that you've actually felt it and how it's made a difference in your work. Um, I can start with Jonathan because he's been in the most classes. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan. Um, I've been acting on and off for like the last 10-ish, 11 years. Uh, really decided to take it more seriously over the last two years. Uh, moved out to LA. I've been working with Winnie for two years now. It's been an amazing journey. Um, I think I'm just going to go to the big one for me is I love the importance of purpose and relationship that we focus on uh, with our scene partners and, and with our characters of really figuring out what is the purpose of the scene? What is going on? What are the objectives? What are the um, tactics you're using to drive those objectives? And what is your relationship with the other person? Because we all treat and talk to different people differently. Like your best friend, you might be one way, but with your mother, you're completely different. And a lover or a enemy. And I think really being clear on what is actually happening in that moment lets you honor the script truthfully and bring it all to life. Um, like check down below that is using the purpose and relationship to really find out your objective and build the tactics. I think tactics were something I never really used or subconsciously used before studying with you, Winnie, and the tactics of why am I saying what I'm saying and how is what I'm saying moving me towards my objective um, is probably something, is such a huge thing with your method, Winnie, that really elevated my acting, I feel, over the last two years. Good, good, because um, the, thing, the thing is, is that uh, you're, there's two purposes, really. There's the purpose of your character, and that's mm -hmm. your objective. You know, when I say purpose and relationship, purpose of your character means mm -hmm. why, what is your character's purpose in the scene? You yeah. know, they want something from the other person and they're, they're pursuing that. And then there's also the purpose of the writer and the, the producer and the director of how your character is going to serve the story. You know, mm -hmm. what is your purpose in the story? Um, so those, both of those purposes are really important. And the relationship you have with the person that you're speaking to, that really governs so much. It just because, because why you want what you want has to do with what kind of relationship you have. Is it, is it your brother? Is it your, your mother? Is it your boss? You know, and yeah. that's going to affect the way you say everything. The way you say something, lots of times for actors, it's very, and directors, it's very superficial. Can you do this a little more upbeat? Um, how about giving us a little bit more attitude? Um, how about giving us a little bit more um, anger? Okay, but what does that create? 
it creates a one note performance because your character is doing all kinds of things even within one sentence you know, a character might say, I can't believe you did this to me after we've had such a wonderful time together. Okay? Now you're talking about hor something horrible and something good in the same sentence. So how are you going to make that upbeat or have more attitude? You know, it's just not going to work because your thoughts are constantly changing. Because your words are constantly changing. And so to actually use your words in an effective way, you need to come from your character's core, what it is they actually believe in, what they actually want, and what their actual relationship is um, with the person that they're talking to. My name is Helen, I'm from Australia, and I started doing classes with Winnie around this time last year. And at the time, um, I didn't know much about acting at all. Um, so for me, it's definitely thinking the thoughts. It's um, that concept has allowed me to like, I'm always doing something, even if I'm not speaking my lines. Yes, yes. And thinking the thoughts of something that I had to gradually learn by doing multiple classes. But eventually I got a light bulb moment and I think I got there. And I think it really has changed my acting because I'm always doing something or there is always something to do. It does actually give you so much to do in every single moment. The actor that I work with on, on set every day, when I first taught him that, that was the biggest thing. He goes, oh my God, I don't have to be bored anymore because he'd been playing the same role for a year and a half when I met him. Now we're in year 13. Uh, in season 13. So he's been doing it a long, long time since I've met him. But he said to me, um, I used to be so bored, but now I, I actually have to decide what to do every moment. I have to decide what to think as my character. And he said, before I, before I felt like I was just juggling a few tennis balls in the air at home, he goes, now I feel like the lion tamer in the circus because I'm in control of my performance. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley. I'm one of Winnie's assistants. Um, I've been taking this class for like over a year. Um, so obviously I really love it and Winnie's methods. Um, so I would say that the most important thing is the thoughts. Um, for whatever reason, that never occurred to me. And I guess a lot of other people, it never occurred to just think your character's thoughts. And if you're actually able to think each distinctive reactionary thought, each line is going to be its own thing, its own thought that you are creating spontaneously. When you say thinking the thoughts, it means thinking the thoughts of your character in the circumstances, moment to moment to moment, um, as you are reacting to the other person. Uh, this is my first like official class. I did an intro, but you know, I don't really count it. Um, so for me, I feel like, you know, the thoughts themselves are important, but like allowing the thoughts to like lead your other thoughts. Um, once you like, once you start it, a scene, and you start thinking a thought, at first it feels like you're forcing it. But like, if you let yourself like listen to your character, your character sort of like takes the reins in a way, mm -hmm. and like it makes it a lot easier for you to not think your own thoughts. Uh, and then once that happens, like, I don't know, I just kind of like become more of my character. I'm not sure how yeah. exactly to put it into words, but. Yeah, and letting the other the other character, right? I mean, the other character, right. you know, pay, you're letting your character pay attention to the other character and then uh, think their thoughts about what the other person is saying. So, yes, yeah. like they they feed they feed you basically and like you just have to let your character eat it. Exactly. Exactly. Um hi, I'm Becca and I'm from the Philippines and I've been doing theater for since 2017. Um I think my biggest lesson from taking your classes is it's not about me, it's about my scene partner. It's about pursuing something, pursuing my objective by 
like using tactics to my scene partner because it's almost like why I prefer exercising with sports instead of just jogging like with no set path or no set goal but if my objective was to win I feel more motivated to move around and hit the ball so I feel more motivated to exercise if I feel like I'm I wanted to beat the person I'm in front with. So in acting, I thought it's just memorizing your lines, accessing your emotions from your past experience, but no, it's about the other person and it's not at all about my character. It's about pursuing something from that person in front of me. Right, right. And the part that's about your character is that you need to understand your character well enough to come from their perspective and yes. to understand the way they see the world and how it makes them react to the other character right the other character is saying things from their perspective and you're reacting to them and trying to get something from them and so you everything that you say is either to change the other person or it's being triggered by the other person that you're trying to react to them you're trying to you're trying to um to give them opposition to what they're saying so it's like a tennis match. It really is. Acting is very much like tennis because you're hitting them the ball. It's about, you know, concentrating on trying to get them to come to your side. And then they hit it back to you and you got to figure out what to do next. And you don't even know what's going to come next because you're always surprised by what the other person is saying. My name is Joanna. Um, uh, this is, I think I just counted on my fingers back. I think uh, this is eight months that I've been working consistently with Winnie. Um, I started acting when I was a kid and then um, really dove in um, whenever I found the subreddit. Um, had taken some classes before, but really resonate with what Winnie has to offer because like everyone said, it's it's um, Winnie has this great way of demystifying. The biggest takeaway I have follows along with the thinking, your thoughts of your character, and mine is, um, it's not about me. And so whenever I'm making it about me, I'm usually way in my head about it. I'm thinking my actor thoughts. I'm thinking like, how do I look? Or did that sound good? Or whatever, instead of um, whenever I can connect with the person, um, looking into their eyes, responding to their, uh, responding to them what they're doing um it makes the whole scene come to life and it's it's pretty it's like when you slip into that the intensity of how the scene flows just is magnified it's really wonderful uh, a wonderful feeling and whenever it happens the first time it may happen for like two seconds and you're like whoa what was that it's like you go into another dimension of of interaction um and being virtual like this i i was wondering how that would happen but it's happened in almost every single class once i was able to say it's not about me think my character thoughts and just um look at the other person really understand that that connection and keep that connection um through the whole scene so i it's been a really wonderful time You're looking at that other person as your character and understanding your relationship with that person what do you want from them and that is your purpose what you want from them your purpose for speaking your purpose for interacting the purpose for wanting to change them um, those are the two most important aspects of a performance and they're all about making it not about you but about the other person my name is Ryan. I'm from Toronto, Canada. It's my third session with Winnie, and it has been a great journey so far. In terms of concept, I think the biggest thing I've learned this session or focused on was the, the character's thought and be able to maintain the tennis ball being, um, being bounced back and forth between me and Becca. Um, because there's a lot of, the scene that we're performing is by Neil Simons, and there's a lot of uh, 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 quick, uh, short, but funny uh, lines and being able to react to it and also change the way Becca react back to me. It's, it's, it's been a lot of joy and fun, I would say, and challenge at the same time. I think you've been doing fantastically, Ryan. Um, you, you came from doing really no acting at all, right? Ever. And uh, well, it's, it's, been, and, it's been, it's been a long time since I last did acting. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and Ryan, you really do embrace your characters. I mean, all the, every character that you've worked on uh, in this class, 
Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's really surprising to me that you haven't done acting in so long because, um, you know, since you were a kid, I think, right? Yeah. And, um, and you do have a real um, natural feel. He, he did, he did Dickie in uh, Talented Mr. Ripley and he did the um, New Girl, New Girl right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah are those are those those are the three the three scenes okay. you've done. Yeah, and I think you've done a great job on all of them, but doing making very specific characters. Uh, and uh, congratulations, that was really good. All right, hi everybody. My name is Denise. I am also from Toronto. I started my acting classes with Vinny back in May of last year, and so it's almost it's also close to a year. I have taken no acting classes prior to this class, and I think, yeah, it, it has been such a learning experience. I, I can see the way I've grown in this class as well as just taking all those written work. Like, I think reading the, the written work is one thing, but being in class and being able to like get the feedback from Winnie right away and working with a scene partner has really changed. It, it, it's put, it puts into practice everything that's on, on the pages. Um, and so one of the concepts that I think um, that I learned from class is letting, it's really similar to the, the tennis match um, concept that we've been talking about, but letting the other person's word like sink into me. And I think the, the way when you like sink into the pores and let it absorb and then reacting instead of just anticipating what the other person is saying, just because I, I know what their lines is, and so for me, it, it, it is like that active listening and thinking and then being able to react appropriately with, yeah. And that's it, that's changed a lot of things. It, like it keeps the scene fresh. Like it feels like I'm doing it the first time every single time. Um, but it's just, yeah, letting the other person's word affect me and my, my next reaction so I can like hit that back to them. Yes, yes. If you don't do that, then all you're really doing is waiting for the other person to finish mm -hmm. so that you can say your line. And that's mm -hmm. not acting. Acting is reacting. You hear lots of teachers say it, but a lot of times they don't tell you what that means. It's that we need to listen and react according to what the other person is doing. And um, that's super, super important because that keeps us in the moment. As you said, that keeps it fresh every time because mm -hmm. the other person is going to say it a little different every time. And you can't say, oh, they're probably going to do it this way. And then I'm going to say my line that way because then it's all rote. It's all like just reciting what you've rehearsed. And uh, it's so much better when it feels spontaneous and it's in the moment and you really are in the boxing ring, just going boom, 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 right? Oh, how you, how dare you? Well, then take this, right? So um, uh, that's a really good one, Denise. Hi, I'm Maria. I'm from Costa Rica, but I'm currently based in LA. And I've been taking Winnie's class since September of 2020. Um, I did have some sporadic uh, acting experience previous to that. Um, and I would say the biggest thing that started making everything click into place for me was the realization that when you ask us to think our character's thoughts, you literally mean talk to them in your head throughout the entirety of the scene. And that we can we do all this work we, we do our written work and we learn about our characters and we answer all the questions and and all of that is super helpful for understanding our character because then we know what our character would think but then you come to the moment where you're actually doing the scene and all of that it doesn't go out the window but like it all you're not thinking about that you're not thinking about i'm an actor think doing these tactics you're thinking whatever your character is thinking. And all of those things that you did, all that written work is what got you to understand what it is that your character would be thinking. And then that's how you stay in the moment, moment to moment to moment. And that that's kind of what start, when things started to click into place for me. Um, I'm Olivia, I live in New York. I just counted, I, I'm pretty sure this is my 11th class. 
um, if I'm counting correctly. So but I've been working with Winnie for a while. Um, I think uh, the most important thing I've learned is I'm echoing what others have said about thinking your character's thoughts. But it's not just that I'm supposed to be thinking. It's that when I'm thinking, I am talk. I'm basically talking to the other person and just not saying the words out loud. Um, because I find when I like when I started, I kind of was like, wait, like I am thinking. Why isn't this coming through? And I sort of realized that it would be more I was thinking about the other character rather than like actually talking to them in my mind. And this is something that it, it takes a while for people to grasp it. Is that um, when I say think your character's thoughts. Some people just go back and go to their um, bio about their character and they just think about their character as they're acting. And that's really a distraction more than it is a help to think about your character because you're thinking at your, about your character as an outside person, not thinking as your character. Thinking as your character is what makes you actually respond with sentences. Like, what are you talking about? Well, that's the biggest bunch of bull I've ever heard. You know, that you're actually thinking in sentences back to the other person. And when you're speaking, you're thinking about the words that you're saying. You're obviously thinking about the meaning of your sentences, but you're trying to, your character is trying to choose words that will really communicate their thoughts. And so when they say a word like gorgeous, you know, they're seeing something gorgeous in their mind. Those are your character's thoughts as they're speaking to the other person. They're trying to paint the other person a picture of what they're talking about. And so you're either thinking about what you're saying or you're thinking back to what the other character is saying. And that keeps your brain busy all the time. So you're not sitting there thinking, hmm, I wonder uh, if they like me or not. I wonder if I'm doing a good job uh, playing this character. I hope I get this job. I'm kind of hungry. I wonder what I'll have for lunch. You know, and when you think those kind of things, when you're on stage or in front of a camera, it really does look like you're waiting for the bus rather than uh, actually playing a living, breathing human being. Um, so it makes all the difference in the world and really creating a character, you know, to create a character with lots of levels and layers and all the things that make a compelling performance. Yeah. So my name is Lauren. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania, but I live in Los Angeles. Um, I started taking classes with Winnie almost two years ago, but in person, we did some monologues in Shakespeare because, um, just in general, acting was really hard for me. I would just freak out. So I feel like Winnie's classes have just helped me with being, I guess, in front of other people when I'm talking. And just this time around, I feel like I got more confident with it and also thinking my character's thoughts a lot more than I used to before. Because I feel like a lot of the times I would just stop thinking and then start stressing out over what's coming next. But now... I learned to relax more and just go with it and just be in the moment. Right. Really, the best way to overcome something that terrifies you is to yeah, just do it. Sure. Just to do it. Just yeah. keep doing it. You know, you know what? When you when you figure out that you're not gonna die from anything that you're doing mm -hmm. as you're acting, um, it will uh, make you start to relax. And then you can start thinking about what you're supposed to be thinking about instead of thinking, oh, my God, you know, because that's really the kind of thoughts that are enter your mind when you're when you've got anxiety or you're afraid. Right. You're just like, oh, my God, what if I forget my next line? What's coming next? I don't know. Um, those kind of thoughts instead of just thinking, um, you know what? I really want to help you. What can I do to help you? Right. Like you do it have to think in. Uh, Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm really sorry that you learned that about me, you know, in your scene that you have to do today. Oh, yeah. yeah. That you're completely uh, involved with what you want from the other person rather than your own terror. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you can really start to learn to laugh at that terror and just go, oh, sit down. Oh, shut the yeah. hell up. Yeah. You know, because I'm busy right now. I'm being my character. Oh, I'm Hunter. I'm uh, 28 from Long Island, New York. This is my third class with Winnie. This is your 
first uh, experience with acting? Had you acted before? No, no, no. So pretty much everything I learned was through you. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I tried to act a little bit uh, just in, you know, like little, little uh, writings that I did with my friend and it was, it was decent, but not, not really, no. <laughs> I look back on some of my videos and I'm just like, oh, what was I thinking? In this specific class, I feel like, a, I feel like a lot of, um, I learned a lot about like transitional thoughts. Um, I found I was like <clears throat> stopping if I was like being sarcastic with someone. I was, you know, kind of doing my thing and then stopping and then saying my next line instead of really like in real life, if I'm being sarcastic, I wouldn't just immediately snap out of it. I would just like, you know, come out of it like, like, you know, smoothly, like, you know, normally. And that's the same thing for many other situations, not just being sarcastic. Um, but yeah, I think transitional thoughts is like, I found how important it was and in this class because it just really makes everything so much more natural. Yeah, it really is like a stream of consciousness. There are no breaks in your in your character's thoughts because are there any breaks in your own thoughts? You think all the time and you think from this topic over to this topic, over to that topic, and the other person says something and then you start thinking about something else. So um, that's not something that we stop and start. It's impossible to stop thinking. I mean, if I said to you right now, stop thinking, you couldn't do it because nobody can stop thinking. It's, <laughs> it's just, you're, you're going to, if you try to stop thinking, you're going to think about not thinking, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Shivam. I've been taking Winnie's class since last year, April. And the thing that I kind of learned the most out of this, this whole like, like 10, 11 months. It's kind of it's it's kind of silly, but I learned that you can get better with practice. Uh, acting sounds like this mystery magic voodoo thing that's out there, and just coming in here and kind of putting in the work over the last eleven months, like every week, as it kind of seen some of the videos ten months ago, is like wow. Like sometimes I feel like I feel like I'm not making enough progress, and I go and watch a video like eight months ago. I'm like wow, I'm making a lot of progress. So one step at a time, and yeah, enjoying the journey. Excellent. Yeah, I'm very proud of your progress, Shavam. I think, you know, I think you're starting to really feel like you understand what acting's about and that you are an actor. You know, that's that's what makes you able to actually become an actor is just by acting. You have to do it to be it. Yeah. And um, you're definitely doing that. So I'm very proud of you. Um, my name is Ayrton. I'm 22 and I'm Brazilian. And I feel like this session, I tried to make, to learn how to use my words better to give life to my character in that sense. Like, so my words could express what my, what my character was feeling and thinking. So I could like paint a, be uh, a better picture um, of the situation I was trying to, to portray. You know, because words are so varied. And, uh, you know, I wrote a, a, the post this week about, you know, words don't speak for themselves because every single word, one word can mean a million different things. So what you need to do is come from your character's perspective and from their relationship to the other person. So that makes the word very unique in that moment. How you're using it is how is what what creates the way you're saying it. What you need to do is be changing all the time and letting the words uh, help, you know, tell you, you know, they're not speaking for themselves. You have to use them as your character, but the words will tell you in accordance with the circumstances, how to say them. I feel like I, I, I need to compare something because, okay. um, well, I learned English as my second language. And at first, when I was trying to learn it, I had to like really think really hard about what I wanted to say and the words that I should use. Mm -hmm. And it, well, I still do, but the thing is I do it just faster now. You know, I'm still thinking of the words and what it need to mean. Mm -hmm. But at first it really felt forced because it was not my native language. And now like, it's more like fluent, you know, it's really like, I'm still thinking, but it's just faster and better. Like, I can express myself better. Yes. Yes. Good. And it's similar. Good. It's similar in acting, right? It's really similar yeah. because in the beginning, learning how to think somebody else's thoughts feels forced, but it won't be forced forever. 
You know, yeah. you still have to consciously choose. Okay, now I'm going to think this person's thoughts. I'm go- I'm going to come from this point of view. I'm going to think from this perspective. But it's easier to slip in and out. It's like you just put on the other person's shoes, get in their skin, and suddenly the brain their brain takes over. Uh, Mm -hmm. And it's not like I got to think this, then I got to think that I got to think this. But in the beginning, it does. You do really need to try to do it because it's not something we normally do because we just let whatever thought comes into our mind, you know, just whatever happens to drift in there, we think. And so we have no control over what we're thinking. But if you do control what you're thinking, you will find that it will be good for your real life as well. <laughs> you know, it's funny how uh, some actors will will um, disagree with me that, you know, you can't have everything in your head. But the thing is, everything starts with your brain. Every movement in your body, um, every everything that you say. When you say, you know, making your words make more sense and for really making your words come to life, it comes from a thought. So, Honestly, if you try not to be in your head when you're acting, then you're a mindless actor. You know, you you can't act without thinking because all things come from thought. Now, your thought is not focused inside your head. Your thought is working to change the other person. So the other half of what I'm teaching is all about that everything is triggered by the other person. Your scene is never about you. It's about the other person. So you're not really in your own head. Your thoughts are shooting out of your head and into the other person. And that's what makes it alive so that you're not just sitting there thinking, 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 thinking. No, no, you're using your thoughts to change someone. Hi, uh, I'm Demetra. 26, live in Florida, but working on moving to LA by the end of the year or the beginning of next year. Started acting last year and this month is actually my one year anniversary of acting and being in Winnie's classes. And I think the biggest thing I've learned is like Shavam said, it's not a mystery like we think it is before we start. Because, you know, I would watch TV shows and movies and really like delve deeply into the characters and become emotionally attached and, you know, analyze them and learn as much as I can about them. And then when I started acting, I realized it's it's just about getting even deeper, learning as much as you can about the character and how they would think and, you know, their subtext and their motivations and it just becomes so much easier the more you do it. Um, You know, when you do scene study and you do a scene from a show or a movie that already exists, but you know, the more you do that, the easier it is when you get an audition and you have to create the character yourself. I'm Rohan, I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh, This is my uh, second uh, class with Winnie. Uh, I never really acted before this. I guess for me, the thing that was um, most important for my learning was realizing that the scene is all about the other person. Um, Sometimes I think that it can be easy to focus on like, what am I doing? Or even think like afterthoughts, like how do I look? But it's once I just focus on the other person, like all my energy is going towards them. So um, that's definitely been very helpful. Yeah, just keep trying to get what you want from them. You know, whatever it is. Do you want their approval? Do you want them to um, to come with you somewhere? Do you want them to give you something? Do you, do you want them to help you? Right? But it's them. It's them. You've got to get them to do it. And that's why you're talking. My name is Arami Day. And this is my first class ever. I had no previous experience acting before this class. And it's been quite helpful doing this class so far. It's she's really given me insight on what it means to act. I feel the most important thing I've learned is to just really have fun with it and um, try to really embody the character. 
Um, I'm Lizzie, and I just moved to LA a couple months ago. Um, I discovered the subreddit actually beginning of 2020. So I took the first few classes with Winnie, but kind of took a short break to finish up school. And so um, this is actually my first scene study class with her. And it's been uh, really fun. And I've been learning a lot um, in the scene study. So specifically for me and Olivia's scene, I have been working a lot on getting rid of my kind of complaining slash whiny tone and kind of learning what that means to get rid of it. And so what I've learned is definitely having more specific thoughts because that's what's driving my reaction as well as my tone. And um, I think that that's the thing that's like really helped the most in like eliminating that, but understanding why I'm eliminating it and understanding how to eliminate it. So that's definitely a big thing for this class. And then um, also making sure that we understand why our characters are different from each other, the reason why they need to be different so that the scene is interesting and not just boring. We're not just kind of the same person going back and forth. So understanding that has been really helpful, just our relationship between each other in this scene. And um, yeah, so those are the few big things that I've learned in this. I, I've been, I can't even tell you how many classes I've taken with you, so I'm not even gonna try to count, um, but it's been a lot. Um, over over the time that we've worked together, it has been um, very monumental to me understanding the craft a lot better and understanding how to get better at this. I remember when I first started, when I first started, I had obviously, like I obviously wanted to act and wanted to get better at it. And I had a certain view of, you know, just for delivering lines the way I think they should be delivered, not ever thinking the mindset of, there's, you know, you have to think about a lot of the things, a lot of prep work that goes into this. I never had that, you know, that that thought before. And um, I've had classes obviously in person and they went on and it was about four or five weeks and I'd be like, ah, I didn't really fit. And you've been the one teacher that I've been consistent with ever. Of the, yeah, you've been the one consistent teacher I've ever been with. And ever since that, it's been monumental to me getting better over time. I could look back from two years ago and uh completely different actor you know just the way i go about thinking and understanding my character and the prep work that goes into it and i remember i would just have so many issues with certain things and you've hammered it hammered it away about slowing down and all this stuff and i'm like okay all right and but it took time but it definitely worked and i think it's been an amazing journey and you stuck with me so it's been amazing it's been amazing for sure <laughs> I'm very, very proud of your your uh, growth and uh, who you've become as an actor. I think it's uh, fantastic, and uh, I'm looking forward to you, you know, really starting to do it professionally and uh, and doing this. It's yeah, really for sure, for sure. Really and I am, I'll be out there in a couple of weeks, so I'm glad to. Fantastic. Um, Fantastic. I love it when when my actors from Zoom class come out to L.A. and we actually get it started, the whole thing started. Um, good. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. And now hopefully everybody knows you a little bit better. We've got, you know, beginners and we've got OGs and uh, we have so many different people. And that's what I, I love putting them together because then the beginners learn from the OGs and the OGs learn by trying to help the beginners. And uh, it's a really a great process in this class. And we're, you know, so international and uh, it's, and everybody is such a great person in this class. And so I've enjoyed teaching all of you very, very much. Let's get to the show on with the show right now.